Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to make your foundation last all day. Now this is extremely important to know, especially when you have a long day or if you want your makeup to last all day when you're off to work or when you're heading to an event. I don't know about you, but I hate touching up my makeup during the day. Like I only like to touch up lipstick and powder my nose, that's it. I personally don't like to reapply foundation and all these other products throughout the day because I don't want to carry my whole makeup bag with me when I go out. I just wanted to share my tips on how to make your foundation last longer and I really hope this helps you guys. My first tip is to apply primer before you apply your foundation. Now I can't emphasize enough how primer is so important. It's a base before you apply your foundation and it's so important not only to make sure your foundation applies smoothly on your skin but it just helps it last so much longer. My favorite primers are from Smashbox. I love the oil-free photo finish foundation primer. This is great, especially if you have oily or acne prone skin. My other favorite primer from Smashbox is the luminizing one. This is also oil-free, so this is also good for oily or acne prone skin. But the only thing is this one is slightly tinted, so it's meant to add luminosity to your skin. I can't say I noticed a huge difference in my skin from this primer per se, but I really like it and it does the job, so I'm happy to use it. Now, I know Smashbox is not available in Bahrain, but you can find primers for almost any makeup brand. I'm sure there are many primers that you could try, but these are my personal favorites. I'm trying a new Makeup Forever primer, and hopefully I'll be reviewing that after I've used it for a good amount of time. My next tip is to apply powder foundation if you are using a liquid or cream foundation. This step is extremely important, especially if you have oily skin. You can either use a tinted powder or a translucent powder, but either way, you just need it to set your makeup. It's so important. If you have oily skin, it will help mattify your skin because when I first apply liquid foundation to my skin, it sort of looks oily, especially around my T-zone. So as soon as I put powder, it mattifies it almost instantly. So definitely don't skip that step. It's so important. And another thing is, if you have oily skin, you will have to powder your face throughout the day, or at least your nose. I mean, for me personally, I have to powder my nose every few hours. To powder my nose, I use Max Pressed Blot Powder, and it's amazing. I can't live without this product. I mean, seriously, this is the only powder that mattifies my face. And I don't use this all over my face. I just use it in my T-zone or any of the areas that I feel need a little bit more mattifying. I use the medium dark one, but as you can see, it's not dark at all it's very light it's almost has barely any color like it's i don't use it for the color i mainly use it just because it's amazing at mattifying my skin and it comes with this sponge which is clearly super dirty because i'm always using it and just using this sponge and this powder on my nose i notice the biggest difference it's just amazing so i just put a little product on and then i just gently pat my nose maybe my upper cheeks and my forehead basically wherever there is unwanted shine. I'm really wary of MAC products because I've heard that their foundations break you out so I stay away from their foundations, but this product will not break you out. Like I have been using this for so long, I'm always repurchasing this. If I lose or break this, I have to run to the mall to get a new one. I cannot live without this product. It goes everywhere with me. I usually only take my lipstick and this with me when I go out. I, I don't like to bring a huge makeup bag. Actually, if I was running late and I forgot this at home, I would probably go back home to get this and then I'd go out. <laughs> That's how much I am hooked on this product. My final tip is to use a setting spray. Now, if you are wondering what a setting spray is, it's just a spray that looks like this or this. This is the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control, Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. And this is obviously targeted to people with oily skin types like myself, and this is also good if you are acne prone. It's really great. I noticed a huge difference when I use this spray. My makeup definitely lasts longer. And I know this isn't available in Bahrain, but there, I'm sure you can find other types of setting sprays. I know Creolan have one. I'm not sure if it's great, but sometimes makeup artists use them. The other setting spray that I have is Max Fix Plus. This is a multi-use product. I mean, Fix Plus can be used in so many ways. One of my favorite ways to use it is to mix it with an eyeshadow to make it more pigmented. If your makeup looks sort of cakey from like heavy makeup, this will definitely make it look more natural, more glowing, more radiant, and just less cakey in general. The only thing is it's not much of a setting spray, so it doesn't necessarily make your makeup last that longer, but 
It definitely does help in a way. I forgot to mention this, but my last tip is to use a medium to full coverage foundation because those foundations are the ones that will stick to your skin and last all day. Now, for instance, when you use a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer, your makeup will not last that long. For me, it certainly doesn't. But when I use a thicker, more full coverage foundation, such as an Estee Lauder foundation, my makeup will definitely last much longer. For instance, today I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation. It has lasted seven hours and I haven't even touched up at all. I just touched up with my MAC Thought Powder. If you want to go for a great full coverage foundation, I definitely recommend Estee Lauder. They really have great foundations that are mattifying, so it's perfect for people with oily skin. And I personally really like them because it just lasts all day and I don't have to worry about touching up throughout the day. And let's face it, it's not pleasant to touch up your makeup all day. That is all for my tips. I really hope that this video will benefit you. Let me know in the comments below any of your feedback. I'd love to hear what you do to make your foundation last longer. So feel free to leave a comment below so we can all learn from you too. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.